Hello there, very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us here on Idea World. Really appreciate your company. Uh, this is one of my favourite shows on Idea World because this is where we get the opportunity to talk about dream holidays. And not just for this year, we've also got them lined up for next year. And we really have got a cruise for everyone. Now, I'm not your cruise expert tonight. I did cruise for many years, but I'm not your expert. Let me introduce you to Justin Hazel, who joins us. He himself had many years. How you see. doing? Great, great to see you yeah, again, Great Justin. to see you back as L well. Listen, what, what's some of the highlights that people can expect to hear about during this <sighs> particular show? We, we have got an absolute corker of a show tonight because we've got deals from as little as a penny and a pound. So, a penny? Yeah, as little as a penny. So, so stay tuned for that a little bit later on. We've got a fantastic guest who's going to be joining us as well from Cruise and Maritime. In fact, my, uh, my in-laws have only just come back from the Magellan as well. We'll be talking about that a little bit later on. And we've got some itineraries that are coming up towards the end of the show, which you simply don't want to miss. And we've got your favourite Cunard as well. Great. Oh, <laughs> Queen Mary 2. Exactly. Queen exactly. Mary 2. Home, home of mine for a couple of years. Uh, listen, there's lots more to learn. Uh, sit back and enjoy the show. It is a different, uh, I do, uh, uh, a different website is the word I'm looking yeah. for. <laughs> no, that's not gin. I haven't had one. Uh, it is a different website. So you go to planetcruise.com if that's what you'd like to do. If you'd like to call the team, then you can go to 0808 250 2662. If you do want to go to ideaworld.tv, then you can. You'll just look for the cruise button and you click on that and it'll take you through to everything. But planetcruise.com is, uh, planet is the easiest way to go. And you can see that something for the singles. In fact, we've got cruises tonight where we consider that for you. Something for everyone. Now, if you'd like to go meet the team, you've got a holiday show coming up in, is it Brighton? Did I remember yes. rightly? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. so on the 24th of June from 9.30 in the morning till 3. Um, if you'd like to join us and meet Glenn and meet Keith, um, then please do register at uh, www.planetcruise.com uh, slash en and uh, you can join us at the Amex Statement in Brighton and find out uh, about all of our different cruise lines and all the different offers as well. And in fact, let, let's start off with a couple of really great deals for you. Special deals, we're not going to get into great detail about these, but if you know you like cruising, or if, whoa, <laughs> if you want to get cruising, it's definitely there's, special. <laughs> there's a couple to write down. And, and actually, throughout the cruise, you'll hear us talking about the cruise ID number, the ID number. Write the ID numbers down, and then when you go to Planet Cruise, you can just put that into their search engine, and it'll bring up the details for that particular cruise. Or, of course, you can call the team. They're waiting for you right now, and you can give them the cruise ID as well. So I'll just cover off this first one. Three nights to Amsterdam, and that's out of Southampton, so it makes life nice and easy. It's my sister, and she was on cruise ships for many years herself as a dancer. She loves celebrity cruises. This is on the celebrity silhouette, and you get the opportunity to go in May of next year. So you can really look forward to that, something you can plan very easily, and it's just £439 per person. Free gratuities, meaning free tips, that's not an extra fee. You've got Wi-Fi on board as well, that will be for free, and you've got the overnight in Amsterdam. So fun trip, you only put £75 deposit down per person on that one. So your cruise ID on there is 159905. Do you want to tell us about the other one? Yeah, and this, this one, we've actually got deposits from as little as just £1 per person. Uh, there's no single supplements, and uh, there's shore in excursions included at every port, and this is uh, a seven-nighter on the Rhine. Now, this is with Riviera Travel. This is an absolute stunning brand, yeah. fantastic cruise as well. And considering that you've got all of that together, so all of your shore excursions at every port, no single supplement as well, and a deposit from just one pound per person. That's definitely one to book early. That's ID uh, number uh, 173393. That's brilliant value for money. And we are going to talk about six other cruises in much more detail. And I believe that we're hoping to get a phone call about halfway through the show. Yep from Karen of Princess Cruises, and she's going to be telling us about another special too. So that will be, what, six, seven, eight, nine cruises we get to talk about in this particular cruise uh, show. So if you've never cruised before, you're going to love it. We'll share lots of information with you. And if you have cruised before, you're going to love it, because not only have we got exclusive deals with Planet Cruise, and we'll tell you all the exclusive parts of each cruise as we make our way throughout the show. So we're going to start the show on our first one, which is about the five wonders of the Mediterranean. And we're going to be talking about Pullman Tour Cruises. So, Justin, what can you tell us about this particular brand? Well, what they're actually doing, they're following a model very similar to a lot of other uh, British cruise lines where we're taking older cruise ships and giving them a complete rejuvenation. Oh. Uh, so, if you actually recognise the, uh, the style from Royal this... Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean, yeah. yeah. So, you've got fantastic facilities on board, but it's all about the value, and certainly for those of you that prefer smaller ships. Yeah. 
then this is not your three, four thousand passengers. This is very manageable. And for me, it's all about the itinerary and, and definitely we'll, we'll, we'll take you through that very shortly. But the inside cabin's fantastic quality um, uh, when, you when you think about the value for money that you're actually getting here. In fact, uh, we've got uh, single supplement specials on this one where there is no single supplement. It's just 749 pounds as a single price. That, that's not like a cabin, that's gonna be a that's suite. That's a suite. Yeah, yeah. gotta be, yeah, look at it that. It certainly does make a difference with, uh, when we say creature comforts, yeah. uh, that is uh, certainly pushing the boat out, excuse the pun. <laughs> uh, have They're all going to come out tonight. They're all going to come out tonight. But yeah, fantastic ship. But for me, it's all about the actual destinations itself. And uh, you're flying out to Barcelona, and your first port of call after a relaxing day at sea is going to be into Naples. That's now, right. this is where you can go out. You can see the lights of Mount Vesuvius. You can go to Pompeii. You can go to Capri. You can go to the Amalfi Coast. You can go to Sorrento. Uh, or you can just stay in Naples, a fantastic city which is just bristling with culture. It's just the sound of Lambrettas beeping their horns and everybody enjoying yeah. those really strong Italian coffees. Then we're off to Rome. And, of course, the port of call is Civitavecchia. Now, this is where you can... Uh, head inland. There's a little bit of a journey inland. You can book a tour. Again, we can book that for you, but you can see the Colosseum. You can see the Vatican City. You can see the Trevi Fountain. You can see all of the highlights of Rome within that one day. I, I think it's worth saying, yeah, having visited them many times on the cruise ships, because mm. I worked on them, uh, it's really worthwhile taking a tour. It just makes your life yeah. so much easier, and there's so much to see. Yeah. That gives you the opportunity to really enjoy the city and be <laughs> stress Free. And also, when you say about stress free, of course, the ship will always wait for a tour. If you're on your uh, own, yeah, they might yeah. not. <laughs> so it's there you true. go. I'm we're just thinking on the best true, side, life. Yeah. Um, then we're off to our next port of call, which is Livorno, which is the port for Florence and Pisa. And this is where you can go and see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, yeah. or you can go uh, and see the fantastic Ponte Vecchio Bridge. If you want to go and see the, uh, the Statue of David as well, then you can do all of that in one day. You can see why we say about the five wonders of the Med, this is like the great greatest hits of the Mediterranean. After Florence and Pisa, you're off to Nice. And this, the actual port that you're called into is a little port called Villefranche. I, lo I love and it. And this is, well, I think you can gauge how much you like a port by whether you go back there again. Yeah. And uh, always on the ship, I always used to ask for that day off, but I've actually been back since yeah. for a holiday. That's how good it is. You're a stone's throw from Nice, you're a stone's throw from Monaco, or sorry, Monaco, I have to say it correctly, Monaco. Uh, but Villefranche itself is absolutely stunning, but Nice is just down the road, and of course, the fantastic boulevards that you've got down there is just stunning. Then we're off to Seti, and this is, uh, again, uh, a great opportunity to go and see some great history. Of course, this is um, uh, an opportunity to go and see Carcassonne. Uh, so if you want to step back in time, you can go back to a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is uh, not too far. Uh, again, highly recommend booking a tour there. Um, after this, then you're going to be heading back to Barcelona. This is where you disembark the ship and fly back to London. But those five ports, I mean, just look at where you're traveling in Italy, in France, in Spain, yeah. and all for great, great value. And, and that's why they're calling it the Five Wonders of the Med. It really is a great, great trip. Now, let's show you why you should consider going through Planet Cruise. You're going to see you're going to get a free upgrade from inside to outside on selected departures. Single special, as Justin said, available from 749. Return flights from London, based on the lead date. But if you ever wanted flights from selected airports, you know, maybe from Manchester, from Newcastle, something of like that, call the team, have a chat with them. They're waiting for your call right now, and you can tell them what other airports you'd like to know information about. Uh, you can add on a two-night pre-cruise stay in Barcelona from just £159 per person. So you can really extend your trip. And that, that is all inclusive, including the tips. So really worth considering this one. And there's limited availability. Some of the, the uh, options have already sold out. So please bear that in mind. It's a brilliant, brilliant opportunity. So here you can see you've got the opportunity to get inside, outside, junior suites and singles. And that's from as little as six 39, so brilliant value for money. Again, it's easy to get in touch with the team. The number's at the bottom of the screen. It's free to call. They're waiting for your call right now. Or, of course, you can go to planetcruise.com. It's as simple as that. Now, let's take a moment to introduce you to Moira. And Moira joins us from Cruise and Maritime, which is our next... I'm going to leap over and grab a kiss. <laughs> How are you, my lovely? 
I'm Great really to see you. Well. It's been a while. In fact, it's good to see you. Before we get going, tell us a little bit about Cruise and Maritime. What can you tell us about the brand? Well, we um, we are Britain's leading independent cruise line. Great. And the great thing about us is our ships are all small to medium size, so they can go into some of the sort of smaller ports that those larger cruise ships can't go yeah. into. And really what Cruise Maritime do so well is creating a very traditional home from home style of ambience on board, ideal for British passengers. Sterling is the currency, so you haven't got any nasty so it's kind of exchange rates. It really is. It's and for me it's very much about stepping back on board when yeah. I go on any of our cruise ships to feel like I'm at home really. And, and am I right in saying that this particular cruise we're going to talk about, this is adults only? It is. No children under the age of 16. Great. So Which some people are going to really embrace, exactly. aren't they? Exactly. Not everyone wants to travel with children, so yeah. it's a perfect excuse to get away from them if you don't want to. So yeah. great, great for adults. And, and it really is a bucket list cruise as well. The food on your ships is amazing. Absolutely phenomenal, yes. Great cuisine. We've really enhanced our dining over the last sort of couple of years, so it is incredible. So they're going to get some great food whilst they're on board well, as well. This particular ship is the Magellan. Is That's that the right? Correct. The Magellan. Yes. So let's take a moment to see that ship right now. Maybe you can tell us a little more about what we can expect. Definitely. As I say, when I get on board Magellan, I just feel like I'm going straight back home. She has such a lovely ambience, yeah. and really. She's considered one of the most friendly ships afloat. Just 46,000 tonnes takes 1,250 guests, but also she's got 150 double cabins dedicated for single occupancy. Wow. So great for our single passengers as yeah, well. Absolutely. We talked about dining, wonderful dining options on board, two main restaurants as well as our main buffet bistro. But we've recently launched our signature Indian restaurant called Fusion, which is part of our speciality dining. So that's brand new for Magellan. We've also just launched a new co coffee bar on Magellan as well. Right. We work with Wittards of Chelsea, also, Dow Egberts for our coffee, so yeah. two really good brands. You are guaranteed a very good cup of tea, very good cup of coffee whilst you're on board. So that's all new for the ship as well. And then she's got a lovely range of entertainment venues, very easy to get around. Most of the evening entertainment tends to happen over on deck nine. So you can sort of walk through, just get an idea of the type of entertainment happening in each of the venues, and whether it suits your mood for this evening. It tends to all happen in Captain's Club, oh, where yeah. it's quite a lively venue late into the night. If you want to, to sort of dance until the, the wee small hours, then you can. So is it fair to say you can do as much as you want or as little as you want? Exactly. If you want a very much a, a quiet evening, then you'll find Sinatra's for a nice cocktail and conversation nice. lounge but if you want something a little bit more lively then you can find it on board as well. Isn't that great? You've got the options, that's the beauty here. You've got so much to choose from, you can do as much or as little as you want. And am I right in saying that on this particular deal we're going to get free parking? Absolutely, free car parking at Tilbury. So that's a great saving in that's itself. Got, yeah, how much? What, what's it's worth money? about £154. So. Wow, 154 that's an extra saving on top of exactly. already a great price. And what about the drinks package? We do a range of packages on board. They um, range from non-alcoholic right the way through to our VIP package. Great. But just to give you an idea, our main all-inclusive package, which includes gratuities, is £23 per person per night. It's worthwhile, Which is isn't incredible it? value. Yeah, yeah. Includes things like your cocktails, unlimited wines by the glass, beers. So there's lots included for not a huge amount of money as well. And so this isn't just adult only, this is no fly. There's no, no need to catch a plane no anywhere. Fly. Take, take all the luggage you want. Take as much luggage as you like, which has got to be a bonus. Especially so we, li we, leave, we leave from uh, Tilbury, and That's ultimately, right. I, I guess the big thing about this is going as far north as we can exactly. to see the Northern Lights. See the Northern Lights. We'll certainly hope to see the Northern Lights anyway. Yeah. Certainly one of the best chances. I mean, if, if you've ever been lucky enough to see the Northern Lights, you'll know how special it is. And again, even if you don't, yes. you know, travelling this far north, uh, and seeing some of the, the, the cultural differences, it's just absolutely amazing. And certainly from, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the newer cruise brands to me. I, you know, my, my heart was uh, with P&O for many, many years ago when I first met Moira. Yeah. Um, but uh, from first-hand experience, I've got some, some great um, feedback from my in-laws. Oh, great. Believe it or not, they've, they've actually just been on again. This is Linda, uh -huh. uh, otherwise known as the Nag. I can't, I'm allowed to say <gasps> what that. Is I'm that? allowed to say what, that. What does that mean? <laughs> And um, yeah, they, they've just been um, around the British Isles. So they were up in Scotland. They've been over to. You're talking about the uh, yeah, the Indian who's restaurants. Who's this? Uh, that's my father-in-law. That's Gary um, enjoying was, it. Yeah, was he father-in-law? <laughs> no, that's it still is. Um, but the Sunday, you know, it's really modern, contemporary up on deck. You can just see there's a couple great. of cocktails there. Um, nice. So, uh, but no, that they, they, was their first ever cruise. 
and uh, they said they absolutely loved it. And um, I think we've. I think we've got the bug now. Yeah. yeah, we've converted yeah, them. Yeah, I think they want to do. We they want to do the meds. Exactly. <laughs> so people go on the cruise. They do their first cruise, and then they say they've got the cruising bug. That's but, it. But that's you know it. what the great thing is? Go back, go back. Every time. I, I'm, I'm sure Gary won't mind me saying. He, he said, "Look, I don't want to do a cruise where it's all formal and dicky bows and stuff like that. I want to be able to be relaxed. You know, he's more relaxed in his shorts and his flip flops. Yeah. And he said he absolutely loved it. He said the staff are fantastic. So for him to yeah. say that, ah, um, then perfect. that's 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 going that's some. Like. Well, <laughs> let's talk about the itinerary because that's a big part of your cruise. So we know we get to Tilbury which is what East London basically it is on the so Thames out of the Thames and then where do we head to Justin uh, yeah we're heading off to Rotterdam um, fantastic port itself I mean it's one of the largest ports in this particular part of, uh, of Europe you've got some great tours and excursions that you can do um, if you want to go to the Hague or if you want to go to Royal Delft you can go a little bit further afield or if you want to go to the Kuchenhof tulip uh, festival as well um, then you can go to some of the gardens and see the fantastic uh, tulips there then you've got a relaxing day at sea, and then we're into one of Moira's favourite ports, uh, which is uh, Olden. You Olden. love Olden, don't you? I do love Olden, yes. Have yes. you been up the glacier? I have been up the glacier, yes. It, this, it's this. amazing, but it is getting smaller, so now is the time to go and see it before yeah. it really disappears. Before it melts. Before it melts yeah, and disappears. You, 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 you didn't take Moira up the glacier? No, 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 no. Um, but but there, uh, you can see it close. Look at that. It, in the, that incredible blue. Isn't it amazing? When it's frozen incredible. like that, and you see the blue. Absolutely stunning. Uh, then we're after Christiansund. Uh, now there's this plenty to see uh, and do here. If you love railway journeys, uh, then there's the vintage railway that you can do here. Yeah. Also, there's the Holland Village, which is the fisherman's village part with all the older, uh, beautiful coloured wooden buildings uh, down there. Uh, and there's also uh, a very, very early church, which dates back to the early days of Norwegian culture. So uh, definitely go and see that. One thing I do like about this itinerary, it's broken up with a nice relaxing day at sea after your big ports, which yeah. is uh, fantastic. Because ultimately you're on you holiday, you, you want to chill out, right? You, you do want to relax. Exactly. We're heading north now, as you can see, we're going up to Alta, and uh, this is uh, this is actually where the world's first Northern Lights Observatory was actually built back in 1899. Wow. So this is where you've got the best chance, uh, or first chances, to actually see uh, some of the Northern Lights, the fantastic cathedral there. So uh, there, there go and see are. the, the there museum there as well. The museum here is quite interesting. Uh, it goes uh, it goes back to ex exhibitions detailing the Sami culture. Um, which, uh, well, you could discover that when you go on the cruise. Then we're off to Honisvarg. Now, one of the things I remember in Honisvarg uh, was the ice bar. You can go here. It's actually, I think it's the most northerly ice bar. And you go and you get, like, these great puffer jackets. You can yeah. go in everything. The tables, the chairs, the Even mugs. the glasses. Yeah. yeah. They're actually Fabulous. blocks of ice that you can they drink out, aren't they? Incredible. Yeah, no, it, it really definitely worth doing. If you, it, it, do... if, you, if you go, what are they on about? Go online, read about the ice bar, and you'll get an indication. It's so worthwhile. It's really so good. worthwhile going to. Definitely. Uh, there's 123 metric tonnes of ice from Lapland that they actually used there. There you go. Uh, also, if you want to do something completely different, ornithologists out there, uh, there's some great bird watching as well, so uh, you can see and see, do that there. Uh, then we're off to Tromso. Now, this is straight away. This is the, the most northerly that you're going to be, uh, or not quite northerly, but this is one of uh, the opportunities uh, to go to the Arctic Cathedral. Um, there's a fantastic cable car ride that you can do here as well. I mean, just look at that you know so when you're beautiful. cruising in and looking out of your cabin window yeah. um there's also the husky wilderness camp there's 250 alaskan huskies there which um that that definitely be on my tick list absolutely yeah, love right. it if, you, if you're a dog lover then that is that's definitely for you another relaxing day at sea then we're into trondheim and this is the third largest city in norway um, you've got some great cathedrals here. Uh, and there's also the Ringgrave Museum as well, which is uh, uh, there's around 2,000 musical instruments housed in this one museum. So uh, quite interesting there. Uh, Andelsness is our, our next port of call. And uh, there's plenty of in Duke. There's actually a, a, a route that you can go on a bus tour. Um, and it's probably one of the, uh, the, the greatest drives that you don't have to drive. You just have to take in the scenery, uh, which is called the Trogstigvegen. And um, it's around two hours. It's on Route 63 um, of Norway's um, uh, road, uh, road network, yeah. and uh, really is fantastic. Then we're into Bergen, and this is this is another one of your yeah, favourite ports. Yes, one of my isn't favourite it? ports actually, and particularly in Norway, absolutely beautiful. Go up the Funicular Railway yeah. mm -hmm. to the top of Mount Floyen. Beautiful views over the city. Absolutely fantastic. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, you can walk around the Brigham, go in some of the little shops. Good fish, the market fish market. Well, yeah. That's it. And, great. and all of this is just walking distance yeah. from oh, the ship. Oh, it's walking distance isn't it? from the ship. Absolutely. Yeah. And some really great restaurants and bars as well in Bergen, which is always important. It's fabulous. <laughs> really good. And then you have a relaxing day at sea and you're back <laughs> in Tilbury. Tilbury. And get this if you're thinking, you know, I, I don't think I could afford a cruise, listen to this. Let me get your attention. £79. Pounds per person per night, 79 
pounds. So this is incredibly affordable. Great and that value. includes your food, that includes your entertainment. It's mm. just incredible value for and, money. And of course they get the free car parking. So yeah, even another better 154 value. pounds in your pocket. Really good. So take advantage of it. Now if you wanted to, you can upgrade and add another six nights to this deal, can't we? That's it. We do have an extension to this cruise, which includes some European city destinations. So it actually makes it a 20 night cruise. So if Brilliant. you've got a little bit of time on your hands and you want to experience some of the European cities as well as then the Northern Lights, you can do that cruise starts in Bristol, returns back to Tilbury. Really worth considering. Again, just call the number, talk to the team, or go to the website. Uh, your cruise ID in this one is 139508. Let's go over why you should go through Planet Cruise to get this. Uh, it is a TV show exclusive because we've got that free parking included now. £154, as Moira said. Chance to see the breathtaking Northern Lights. No fly, as we say, it's UK to UK, adult only cruise. And you deposit on this, it's just £200, so really, really affordable. And also, if people don't want to travel down to Tilbury, we do have lots of other Northern Lights cruises as well. So from the likes of Poole and Bristol and Hull, if that's a little bit more local for you, again, yeah. just ask. So that's cruise and maritime. That's why Moira was with us today. Uh, unfortunately, Moira will be leaving us shortly. So let me say a big thank you to thank you. Thank you. For Great to see you. Home. We're going to move on now to our next cruise, which is... Marella. This is a, a great British company. Once again, you really want to consider this. And I know we say Marella. It doesn't really sound that UK, right? But originally, am I right in saying this used to be Thompson? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thompson Cruises. What can you tell us about them? Well, again, they've taken the, the format that many cruise lines are doing now, and they're using older ships, but fantastically refitted. So you've got great facilities, fantastic value for money. The staff, um, that's one of the big things with Marella. Entertainment, food, and the staff. And I think that's, I mean, that's indicative of the whole of the cruise industry, uh, whatever cruise line you go on, but there seems to be something about uh, Morella. They've kept the same staff. Again, it's just the change of name that you got there. But for me, it's just the flavor. It's where you're going. Yeah. You're going, I mean, straight away, the Caribbean. overnights in port yeah. were the cruise favorite. Havana, Cuba. That's going to get messy. Yeah. <laughs> Rum, cigars, and dancing uh, in Havana. Yeah. But oh. then you also got the Panama Canal added. Yes, and Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mexico and I Jamaica. I love Mexico. Love There's Mexico. There's so much, so much in there. Uh, again, the ships. Um, uh, you, you can see some of the features there with the rock climbing wall, uh, the pitch and putt. Great friendly staff. Um, and again, it's a good flavour for the whole family. I think definitely the, the, the destination sometimes dictates the, the sort of um, atmosphere on the cruise. And this, this is going to be a fun one. Would you, you think it. about how much you pay to fly yeah, to the Caribbean point. or fly to Cuba? Yeah. You know, so that price is already incredible, incredible value for money. You've got an overnight in Havana, Cuba as well. But the price is also all inclusive yep. and even includes tips. Yeah, I mean, all, all of that, that is what you have here value wise. I can just hear the sounds of the Caribbean drums playing in the background and that fantastic Cuban beat. Look, she's salsa dancing now. <laughs> I, I, do, you, do you salsa? I, I had six years in the Caribbean and I absolutely love it. Yeah, salsa. I learned to do salsa in Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rico. Yeah, really great times. <laughs> great times. Listen, let, let's go through the itinerary here because it is phenomenal. And we are talking a taste of the Caribbean. We're talking a taste of the Panama Canal, which is somewhere that most people never get to go. So yeah. let's start our journey. We're going to fly. Where do we fly to? Montego Bay, Jamaica. Yeah, and your first port of call, though, is going to be Grand Cayman. Now, straight away, I remember going to you can go to hell and back on Grand Cayman because there is a small little village called Hell. Wow. And you can go, there's a post office there, there's a guy that's dressed up in a devil's outfit and you can send a <laughs> postcard from Hell. It's not you, um, is it? No, no. <laughs> uh, but there's Stingray City there, which is fantastic. There's a turtle farm and just great facilities. You've got seven miles of beach uh, when you actually get off of the ship itself. Uh, you know, you've got some great facilities there. You'll absolutely love it. Um, then we've got a relaxing day at sea and then we're off to Havana Arnana. Oh, yes. Oh. Havana, Cuba. For, for me, it would all be about the old cars. And I love the way that our director has just put that up straight. Oh, it is. The old cars, the buildings, yeah, yeah. the music, the cigars, the rum. Yeah. It is just one of those great places. And, and now's the time to go. Yeah. And as they keep opening up the doors, well, that to, could to all fair, change. It could so all change. Over the last 10 years, they've spent a lot of money 
on on Havana. In fact, uh, one of Jane McDonald's cruises that oh, I was yeah. re watching uh, a few months ago actually went there, and it is surprising, the, you know, the difference that it makes. So I'd actually go to say, apart, apart from you know, before things change, before it changes too much, yeah, go yeah. and see it. Um, but from Havana, and remember, you're overnight on board, so you can use the ship as your hotel. You can go ashore. You can come and go as you want. Um, but then the next day. I think you're probably going to be led on the beach in Cozumel. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely would be with a straw hat over my face. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, you've got, to, you've got to enjoy Havana. But Cozumel, really good, vibrant town. I mean, you've got all of the uh, Carlos and Charlies and Senor Frogs, all the bars. So if you do want some vibrance there, you can. Or you can do something which might be on your bucket list, like swim with dolphins. Go and see some of the Mayan ruins. Yeah. Um, so the, there is a lot to do in Cozumel. Some Caribbean ports, it's just beach bar bar beach yeah but Cozumel is choices. definitely yeah good good choices there so have a look on that one relax and let's see and then we are off to Jamaica we're off to Montego Bay so this is where you can go and do your Bob Marley tours you can go into the actual port of you're actually going into Montego there you can go round to Ochos Rios uh, and go and see Dun Rivers Falls which is the famous waterfall which is really good fun definitely and more, more good rum yeah, more, very good rum yeah, very as well. Good. So, uh, yeah, Dun Rivers Falls. You can actually climb up that with a guide. It's definitely worth doing. Relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Costa Rica. We're actually off to Porto Limon. And this is where you can do a lot of um, outdoor activities. So this is where your canopy zip lining tours, your rainforest aerial trams, all of that can come in. River rafting as well. You can see some of the sloths. Yeah. Um, That's so not local. <laughs> It's just one of the crew. Just, just <laughs> take take a little bit of time off. <laughs> hey, after, after Havana, we'd all need a, a couple of days off. Um, but from Puerto <laughs> Rico, we're going to go into Colón. And Colón, this is definitely the older part of town. is is definitely worth going into. So uh, you've got Cascavelo and Panama uh, Viejo. Um, so this is one of Panama's oldest settlements. This is where you're going to get. Uh, again, great nature, so if you want to head out, if you want to do some scuba diving or if you want to do some snorkeling, then you can do. But there's also the colonial streets, the churches, the monuments, there's just something for everybody in, uh, in Colón. Then we're off to Colombia, we're off to Cartagena, and uh, again, the old city, it's, it's one of the parts that you definitely want to go and see because again, some people will just get off the ship and just wander around the terminal. Oh, there's an amazing you know? fort there. Amazing yeah. fort. Yes, yes. I believe there's the old uh, Walt Historic Centre as yeah. well, which is definitely worth uh, looking around. Uh, Las Morales as well, um, which is uh, there, one of the most impressive the fort. city walls. There's the fort, yeah. Oh, the fort, yeah. Uh, but Las Morales um, is, uh, is great. You might actually recognise it from some of the old uh, films in the 80s. So, uh, if you uh, Michael Douglas fan, yeah. say for instance, <laughs> Sinister Stein. Then, uh, <laughs> then we're off to Santa Marta. Now, this is all about the beaches. It is just picturesque. It is absolutely stunning. If you want to go a little bit further afield, then you go to uh, Terona National Park, uh, which is on the Caribbean coast side. So you're going to get great warm um, currents coming through there as well. Then we're going to have a relaxing day at sea before we come back into Monte uh, Montego Bay. And uh, that wraps up. That's an epic. Just looking at that map again, it reminds you of really you're getting such a great flavour yeah. of what is quite an unusual itinerary. This is not your usual Caribbean tour. And, and when you think that that's all inclusive, even tips are in there. Yeah. Phenomenal value for money. I mean, I, I really want you to consider this. The deposit, it's only a deposit of £125. Pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not talking great money here. Uh, and then, of course, you've got loads of opportunities to get out and enjoy the Caribbean, enjoy Cuba. All inclusive, as we said, that even includes your tips. And of course, that includes your drinks as well. Return flights from Cardiff. Uh, then you've got uh, other ports you can see. If you, if you want to fly from Gatwick or Manchester or uh, Birmingham International, call the team, tell the team, and they can sort these things out for you. Low deposit, as we say, from £125. So lots of reasons to consider that. It's just a mm. big flavour of that part of the world. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I, cruising now, I'd want to go back to the Caribbean. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. And look at these prices. So, so affordable. When you think that's two weeks, 14 nights around the Caribbean. Now, we're going to be talking about Princess Cruises next. We've got a Princess Cruise lined up for you. But I'm being told we've got Princess Cruises on the phone. So I don't know. K Karen, can you hear us? Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Karen. Hello. Uh, I hope you're well. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Listen, I, I believe you've got a very special cruise lined up for us and, and you've got something special to tell us. We have indeed, yes. So um, it's back, the £1 deposit day. So last year we introduced this offer for the first time. £1? 
just a pound. Yeah, and last <laughs> year it was our biggest ever booking day that we had for Princess Cruise. So we're really I'm excited that it's making a return. Yeah. And um, what, what's the cruise in particular you wanted to talk about? Okay, so to show you tonight, we've got a seven-night um, France and Spain cruise sailing yeah. from Southampton on board the Sapphire Princess. Yeah. And it departs on the 25th of May next year. Um, so you've got seven nights departing from Southampton and you visit Spain and France and Guernsey. And you've also got two days at sea so that you can enjoy everything that the Sapphire Princess has to offer. Now, this cruise is starting from just £755 per person. Or if you're a family of four, that's just £2,599 for all four of you. Right. And with our current offer, you can get that for just £1 per person or £4 for a family of four. <laughs> that's crazy. No wonder the phones went crazy last year. And, and did you say this is only for 24 hours? Yeah, so it starts at midnight tonight, but you can call Planet Cruise this evening and actually pre-register your interest and oh, they can brilliant. get that booked up for you first thing tomorrow. Great. Well, I really appreciate you calling in. I'm glad we got to talk to you, and I really appreciate you telling us it's just a pound each. That's amazing it is. value for money. Yeah, and we've got a campaign on the um, at the moment, so you can actually receive our three for free, which is free wine, speciality dining, and shore excursion credit as well. So you get all three of those for free? Yeah, you get all of that for free anyway, but for tomorrow, you can book it for just a pound. That is fantastic. Hey, again, I really appreciate you calling in. We're going to talk a little bit more about Princess right now. Thank you. Take fantastic. care of yourself. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Come on, that's crazy. Now, I am I right in saying, I've got a little note here that's saying yeah. it's not a pound if you go through, it's, it's a pound through Princess Cruises, but Planet Cruise have up that. We've, yeah, we've got just a little, little step further. And this is, again, this is why you want to tune in to the shows. And this is why you need to pick up your phone right now or tonight. Because Royal Caribbean is doing it for one pound per person to book the deposit. Yeah. We at Planet Cruise, you can pre-register. So before midnight. Before the 24 hours. Yeah, before the 24 hour period, we're going to do it for just one penny per person deposit. Four pence and you can book that cruise. <laughs> Four <laughs> pence. Now the team are waiting for your call right now. If you go, I'm going to, I'm, we're get, we're going to go into a lot more detail about a particular cruise right now. But if you want to book, if you go through Planet Cruise, forget pound each. It's a penny each. How brilliant is that? Now, of course, Princess doesn't open until midnight tonight, and that runs for 24 hours, so until midnight tomorrow night. But our team are waiting for you right now. Planet Cruise are on the phones right now, and you can call them and take just one pence. So let's take an opportunity right now to learn a little more about Princess Jade when on board. Regardless of which Princess Cruises ship you get on, you'll find yourself with a host of dining, entertainment and relaxation options to suit your needs. Whether you prefer the traditions of set time dining or you prefer to pick when, where and who you eat with, the option is yours on board a Princess ship. Princess Cruises have always taken speciality dining to the next level, from the sumptuous steaks in the Crown Grill through to the incredible Italian flavours of Sabatini's. The first of two new offerings is Steamer's Seafood, where you can feast on amazing shellfish, all accompanied by generous sides and dipping sauces. The second new taste sensation is Planks, serving up American-style barbecue options on planks, loaded with four meats, chilli, coleslaw and fries, Oh, and some really incredible looking desserts. Princess Cruises love looking after the whole family during your cruise. Camp Discovery offers three different age categories and areas, all themed in collaboration with the Discovery Channel. Children aged 3 to 17 will have everything they need to keep them amused for hours at a time. Whichever Princess Cruises ship you go on, you are sure to find something entertaining happening. From the street performers in the piazza through to the full Broadway style productions in the Princess Theatre. But this is Princess, so we can't talk about entertainment without mentioning the movies under the stars up here on deck. Whichever stateroom you pick, you'll get comfortable beds, a flat screen TV, mini bar and bathroom with shower. If you're looking for a bit of extra outside space, then an upgrade to a balcony is a must. For that touch of luxury though, suites are the perfect option, offering you extra space and amenities in your room and complimentary access to the Lotus Spa Thermal Suite, amongst other exclusive benefits. I've got to share this with you. I've got to share. I, I love Princess. Of course, Princess, the original uh, love boat. Yeah. So if you ever saw that team, remember the show? The love. That was Princess Cruises. And I actually proposed to Helen, my wife, on Princess Cruise Ship. And she said yes. So, so I got a big, big... <laughs>
Hole in my heart for Princess. Love them, absolutely love them. I bet a you massive will hole too. in your wallet as well. Yeah. All right. All right, well, it's worth it. It's worth it. That was. A, uh, she might be watching. She might be. Come on, tell us about the itinerary. So uh, we're sailing out of Southampton. We've got a nice couple of relaxing days at sea, and then Brilliant. we're into Porto Mayo. Now, this is absolutely stunning. Really fantastic beaches. Um, there's lovely little marinas that you can have a little wander around, so a nice way to ease yourself into this fantastic cruise. Then we're off to Cadiz. Now, this is, is one of my favourite ports. This is Seville. Uh, so you can go out, you can see some of the great sherry bodegas. Uh, the, if you love horses, look like, at that. Oh, great, great beaches, but the actual town itself, great to walk around. You've got the Alcazar Fortress, uh, which is a Moorish, Moorish fortress which dates back to 913. Um, there's a 15th century cathedral there as well, so plenty to see and do. Then we're off to Malaga. Now, if you want to go a little bit further afield, you know, you can go out to Alhambra, which is um, uh, not far from Granada as well, of course. Yeah. Um, you've got the museum for Picasso. Um, Picasso? Oh, Picasso. Yeah. You know Picasso? Picasso. Um, and also, it's, it's the birthplace of Antonio Banderas. So there right. you go, there you go. You learn something new and useless every day. Then you've got a nice, nice relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Corsica. Uh, lovely place, Corsica. Ajaccio, of course, we're, we're talking history now. Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah. And uh, if you want to go and do some walking uh, tours, there's some fantastic walking tours that goes inland. But for me, it's all about a glass of rosé, a lovely, nice Mediterranean salad just near that port. Really lovely little trinket shops here. Love Ajaccio. Um, then we're off to Seti. Now we, we talked about this earlier on about being able to go into Carcassonne, so we'll move on after that. Um, then we're off to Spanish Morocco, Ciuta, and this. There's a fantastic maritime park here. Usually, when we go across to the Canaries, we talk about Caesar Manrique. The actual maritime park here was designed by him. So uh, if you do love your architecture, uh, fantastic to go there. Um, and uh, lovely fortress as well, so lots of history. Um, if you're lucky, if the, the, the day is clear, you can actually see across to Gibraltar. Wow. So it's quite literally, you know, uh, what we say about the, the entry into the Mediterranean, then yeah. uh, that's where you are. Then we're coming back in, your last port of call is Lisbon. And I love Lisbon. Me too. Absolutely love Lisbon. You got the. It always looks like San Francisco, Francisco yeah, doesn't it? The 25th of April bridge. And, and we'll go under that, won't we? Yeah, just under it on the left hand side. You yeah. can actually walk down uh, the coast here. There's some lovely little marinas and restaurants. And then you get the Monument of Discoveries, which is paying tribute to all of the explorers that left uh, Portugal. And then you've got the Belém Tower as well. So if you want to go down there and, uh, and grab a lovely little uh, picture, then it's fantastic. Belém? Belém Tower. Right. Look at it, it's gorgeous. I, well, you've got to go on a tram ride as well. What did you used to get up to when you were in, um, in Lisbon? Was it chicken and chips and rosé? No, no. Oh, I, that must have been a P&O tradition. Yeah, <laughs> I, I used to like to get... I loved going up to the castle. And it's be, have you ever been up to the castle? No, no. Oh, the views are absolutely... We used to go up by the theatre and there was this great... Just off the, the left-hand side, uh, there was this great little authentic restaurant um, where you get uh, grilled chicken and a bottle of Mateus Rosi, and it was cheap as just chips. Just a few, yeah. Uh, just as, 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 you, as you did. Just a few euros. It is a stunning city, really worthwhile visiting. And then, of course, we have a couple more days to chill out, relax. Yeah, and then back in Southampton. So definitely for those of you that can't fly or don't like flying, you know, you don't have to worry about your luggage allowance. It's a fantastic itinerary. And look at the price that we've got there. Remember, the, the actual campaign from Princess is booking a deposit for as little as a pound. Just for 24 hours. But if you book it with us through Planet Cruise, you can not only pre-register before midnight so to secure it, but it's not just a pound, it's actually for just a penny deposit per person. And then as Karen told us on the phone, three for free. Oh yeah, So you yeah. get the free wine, you get a free speciality dining experience, that's big, one of those special restaurants. Yeah, and, and a free excursion, excursion as well. credit as well. So brilliant value for money. And if you wish, you can have one night at the Holiday in Winchester, so you can chill out before you go to the ship. It's £95 per person, but it does include breakfast, parking, and transfers to and fro the ship. Now, there's limited availability on there. It really is worth considering. Uh, I, I don't mean to miss out on it. The cruise ID on there is 164976. But we're going to move on because the next cruise is, without a doubt, is a bucket list cruise for many people. Mm. There's a lot of information to share on this one. We're going to be taking you over to China. And this is a combination of land tours. So you really get to experience China and you're going to get a cruise as well. So this is 19 nights all together. In fact, before we do anything, let, let's talk about China, because we're going to get five whole days there, yeah. aren't we? And I, I think it's, it's worth noting that what we've got here is this is just a taster. Pick up the actual phone, 
speak to the guys and they can take you through it in more detail because what we have here, we've only got probably about three or four minutes to talk about a, a once in a lifetime journey. Well, of course, we're going to get to see the uh, Warrior Tour as well. Talk, talk us through what we get here. Yes, yeah, so, so you're, actually, you're actually flying across, um, uh, across to China. And if you've ever wanted to see one of the most, wow. well, historically significant, historical and, and archaeological sites wow. than the Terracotta wa Warriors, this is included within the actual cruise itself. So you have a, a two-night stay in Xi'an. Yeah. And this is one of the days you'll get a chance to go and see. And of course, they're still discovering more and more. And some of the stuff that I was reading in research is, is all of the warriors, they're completely different from one That's another. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're actually based on real warriors. Wow, I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, they, they didn't just sort of, you know, make a mold and just keep churning them out. It was actually must on, on people. Yeah, um, horses, horses and carrots. Yeah, yeah. 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 We've probably watched the same TV show, right? <laughs> so let, let's talk a little bit about the ship, because you can already see these are magnificent. There is no doubt about it. Yeah, just, just before we, we actually go on to, to the ship, where you actually travel um, from Xi'an, um, you're going to be going on the bullet train. So we say about trains, oh, wow. planes and automobiles, um, if you've ever wanted to travel on one of these bullet trains, they are absolutely amazing. It's not, it's not like what you'd experience here in the UK. It's, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. So that's your first five days. They're going to be in China. Then we join the ship. Yeah, now, now the actual concert, and straight away, she's an absolutely stunning ship. Um, you will get a chance to uh, see the Great Wall of China as well, and that is included as well. So uh, a great opportunity that if, again, if you want to tick this off, um, such a, an amazing feat of engineering uh, that is visible from space. So not only will you get that tour, but you'll also get to see the Forbidden City oh, wow. and uh, Tiananmen Square as well. And this, this is, is all, all included. This is all before we get on the ship. Wow. So you start off with the two days in Xi'an. You get the Terracotta Warriors tour, the bullet train from Xi'an to Beijing. Yeah. You get three nights then in Beijing where you get the Great Wall tour, the Forbidden City for Forbidden City, and Tian Tiananmen Square. Easy and, for me to say. And all the meals are included whilst you're on all land. Of the, all of that is included. Brilliant. Um, before you actually get on board the ship itself. That's pretty significant in itself, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but the, the actual ship, you know, when you look at Quantum, I mean, this is easily, I mean, on my, on my iPad here, I've actually got to move all of the notes that I've got on this ship. Oh, because right. it's, it's, it's the ship tonight with the most facilities. Yeah. Um, you've got the, the incredible North Star, which is... Uh, is that that thing we can see sticking up in the air? Yeah, yeah you've got Flow Rider on there. You've wow. got uh, indoor skydiving oh, as well, goodness. which is ripcord by iFly. Oh, wow. So uh, cool. you can do that. Uh, you've also got a fantastic venue called 270 Degree. And uh, this is one of the main entertainment venues. You've, it's just an amazing venue. So at night, the LED uh, screens completely change. Uh, one of the most technologically advanced theatres uh, at sea. Um, there's some great venues. And, and, uh, and people will tell you that that's the beauty of Royal Caribbean ships. These really are a destination in themselves, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. You've got the Seaplex as well, which is the largest indoor activity uh, um, water park. You've got music hall, you've got bumper cars, uh, flying trapeze, roller skating. Uh, you know, I mean, Royal Caribbean broke the mold with the climbing wall at the back, but yeah, this thing has got more facilities you can shake a stick at. It's, it's amazing. Food wise, I mean, you've got uh, Windjammer Marketplace, Coffee and Cake at Promenade, Seaplex Doghouse, which is the first food truck at sea, the Grande Restaurant, Coastal Kitchen, Silk, Chic. There are so many restaurants. On top of that, there's speciality restaurants as well. So there's Jamie's Italian, um, where, where you can have uh, Jamie Oliver's uh, menus at sea. Michael's Genuine Pub as well. It just, there's but, so but, much there. And of course, so, much we, so we've enjoyed China. We've now got a gorgeous ship to go sailing on. Yeah. We're off to Japan, Vietnam, yeah. Hong Kong, Taipei. Tell us the itinerary, Justin. Well, you, first of all, you're going to have a nice relaxing day at sea. I think you'll need it, really, yeah, to find, yeah, find your way around. And we're going to our first port, port of call, which is Fukuoka. Fuk oh, I can't say it now. Yeah. As soon as, as soon as I went to say it, I knew what everybody was thinking. So we're going to Japan. Great. And um, that, that's what stunning. I would have said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, um, there is some fantastic shrines. It actually dates back to 757 AD. 
and um, there's a 1200 year old festival um, which um, if you're lucky enough to catch while you're there that is great there's also uh, the the uh, the tower as well which stands 767 feet tall uh, which is for the local area. This is a, a, it's a, a, incredible views there. Uh, so that's your first day in Japan. Then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea. Perfect. And then we're off to Taipei. And uh, this, oh, wow. again, we've got incredible history I've never here. been here. I'd love to go. I've never no, been No, th this is one of the, the, the parts of, of the world that I mean, is quite rare uh, on, on some of the items, yeah, unless we, you're on a world cruise. Um, but some incredible temples. The Martyr Shrine is 350,000 square feet of grass. Um, and uh, they say there's, there's something like 330,000 people actually were involved in the construction of it as well. So uh, definitely one to see there. Relaxing day at sea, and then we're into Hong Kong. Definitely one of the highlights of the cruise. Um, just to give you sort of uh, my sort of recommendations, definitely go up to the uh, Victoria Peak funicular. Um, that's definitely one to, uh, to see. Um, also, at night, if you're lucky enough, as you're sailing, I expect they'll probably do a late sail. Um, check with your advisor just to make sure. But there's uh, a fantastic light show every night at 8 p.m. Um, the food markets here are just awesome as well. And uh, all I'd say is, if you like shopping, leave your credit card on board the ship because there's some fantastic opportunities to shop there. Really, really fantastic. Anyway, from Hong Kong. Oh, there's the Vinicuru Railway up at um, Victoria Peak. Yeah. So uh, once, you, once you've left Hong Kong, you've got relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Hue. Now, this is where you have the Imperial Citadel, and um, it's just absolutely, again, great beaches in Vietnam, but uh, the history of the, uh, the Citadel is definitely one to go and see. So you've got the Ten Mai uh, Pagoda as well. Um, so uh, plenty to see and do there. Then we're off to Nha Trang. Now, this is known as uh, Vietnam's sort of seaside resort this is one of the premier resorts and you can see why Get the color I mean, of that water. the ocean just yeah. absolutely fantastic there's um, a great cable car ride but there's also the Chodan market um, which if you want to go and get some of the local handicrafts and artic artifacts then definitely go and see that or if you just want to chill out on the beach it's one of those do as little or as much as you want then we're off to Ho Chi Minh City we're off to Saigon and here again I think you've got to go and do it You've just got to go and do it all in a day. Go and see the Notre Dame Cathedral. Go to Dong Cloy Street as well, so yeah. you can get your dong out, um, the Vietnamese yeah. currency. Um, so you can spend your dong there. Uh, you've also got uh, a chance to go on a little uh, river cruise as well. Go to the Mekong Delta. So um, you can go and see some of the more historic sites there, uh, dating back to the Vietnam War. Then we've got a relaxing day at sea, and your disembarkation port is Singapore. So uh, wonderful to, to travel that distance, but the five days that you get before, so you get to see the Terracotta Warriors. Yeah. You get to see the Great Wall of China, um, the Forbidden City. You get to see Tiananmen Square. All of that is included, as well as the bullet train. Yeah. as well to Beijing, which it, that's an experience in itself. As I said at the very start, th this is a bucket cruise. This is a bucket list cruise for so many people, and it works out less than £137 per person per night. Now, if you wanted to, for just £10 per person per night, you can upgrade. So if you're an inside cabin, you could go to outside. And then from an outside, you could go to balcony for £10 per person per night. So really worth considering. So five-night China tour, as we heard from Justin, experience the Terracotta Warriors, uh, all, all the other things included. The meals, as we said, included. There's your upgrades if you would like them. I would say take full advantage of those. Go there 20 quid per person per night and get to balcony. Enjoy oh, the views. Yeah, definitely. Enjoy for, for, the views. For this sort of cruise, if you're going that far and spending that much, definitely 20 pounds a night per person more. Right, write the ID number down for this one. Write the ID number and call the team now. 182544. And it is deposit only. It's a deposit only on this. And let's show you what's available to you. Oh, the competition here, we've got the competition. Oh, yes, yes. So, um, well, Royal Caribbean is, is one of the biggest cruise lines, but one of the biggest board games um, has got to be Monopoly. And, and you've got an opportunity to win a special edition Royal Caribbean. How I cool cannot is that? tell you how lucky we are to have this. Um, and if you'd like a chance to win this, then uh, just follow the details. We'll show you the details in a couple of seconds. Yeah, um, plan planetcruise.com. Let's show that again. Planetcruise.com, look on the right hand side, planetcruise.com forward slash EN. And that'll give you a chance to enter that competition. So 
free to enter the competition and of course you could be winning it. How yeah. much fun would that be? And again, you've got to be in it to win it. All the terms and conditions are on the website, but if you are a big cruise fan and certainly collectibles fan, then that's definitely worth visiting the website. Now, we've still got one more cruise to squeeze in, and this yeah. was home to me for a couple of years, so yeah. I'm lucky enough to work on the Queen Mary too. But this is a very interesting cruise because it's going to be 19 nights, so we're talking almost three weeks here, incredibly affordable, and you're going to go from Southampton, and if you want to dress up on this cruise, you may well want to, because QM2, Queen Mary 2, and it's going to take you through to Dubai. So let's take a moment right now to see Glenn, who's on board the ship. Cunard is a cruise line that has one of the richest histories. So it's fitting that moving forward, they have decided to pay homage to this history while still being cutting edge with its latest multi-million pound refit on board the Queen Mary 2. This striking new grand lobby is one of the most spectacular and noticeable differences, with two of the glass lifts being removed, creating a lighter, brighter entrance and giving even more of a grand central space. With its classic and stylish art deco detail, you can see how this remastering has truly enhanced its traditional touches. And now, with the additional room, there is 18 staterooms with views that overlook this stunning atrium. What was once the Winter Garden has now been transformed into the Corinthia Lounge. This venue is now the perfect tranquil space for people to relax during the day with a selection of food and beverages available. Before transforming into an elegant yet informal evening venue, offering up light entertainment with a selection of wines and a port vintage wall offering the finest collections of port at sea. We then have here the classic Commodore Club which has been remastered with a fresh new look and a new cocktail menu to go with it. Featuring seven new signature cocktails inspired by the seven knighted Commodores of Cunard's history. And finally, Sir Samuels has undergone a redesign with the additional of the much-loved Godovia handcrafted Belgian chocolate being added to the complimentary pastries and snacks available. Here we are in the height of luxury, in one of the Queen penthouse suites here on Queen Mary 2. In 2016, Cunard embarked on a £90 million refurbishment and all cabins and suites have been remastered. If you're travelling by yourself but you don't want to pay the huge supplements, we do have our single traveller cabins. Absolutely stunning for those people that want to go across the Atlantic on the Queen Mary 2. Then we make our way up to the Ocean View cabins, or if not, why not try one of the balconies? But if you really want to push the boat out, and I pardon the pun, you might want to try one of the uh, Queen's Grills or the Prince's Grills. You can relax in the lounge area here, you can sleep in one of the beautiful new beds they have, or why not relax in the bathtub? Or if you really can't be bothered to do anything at all, why not call your butler and let them do the work for you? Absolutely stunning and the best way to go from Southampton to New York. All we did was talk about the ship there. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was my office, and oh, I remember the Verve Clico bar was up there. Just talked about the ship. Wonderful, stunning, yeah. height of luxury. Yeah. It was the only cruise ship in the world to have a planetarium on board. And of course, you get some great, great opportunities to relax and chill out on here. And, and again, for those of you that haven't experienced Kuna before, this, she's an ocean liner. That's she's right. She's not a cruise ship, she That's is right. an ocean liner. Which, which means difference... she's got a, a V hull, so she did deep deep into the water yeah. deep into the water very stable very sturdy so uh yeah f first port of call is, is cadiz we we spoke about this earlier on uh, fantastic great chance to go out into seville see the cathedral and enjoyed that then we've got a nice uh, few relaxing days at sea and we're over to athens now you have to go to the acropolis you have to go to the placa um the placa is the sort of shopping district you've got to go and have a little bit of a barter never take the first the second the third or even the fourth price <laughs> walk away walk away they'll come running after you um then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea and then you have Haifa. Haifa. Yeah. Now this this is a it's real an overnight opportunity. as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, an overnight. And again, there's an opportunity here if you want to go to perhaps a little bit further afield and do some of the tours. You can go and see the River Jordan. You can maybe even able to go to Jerusalem and Bethlehem, depending on what tours are being offered by Cunard on the on the cruise. So when you do uh, phone up to book this one, just check because this is a great opportunity. But then after Haifa and you know Suez a full Canal. yeah, you know if you've ever wanted to transit the Panama Canal, um, then this is another one that you just have to do. Rich in history, and it'll be a great day just just transiting the canal. Um, and then you have got not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six days. And bear in mind, that's what this ship was designed yeah. for. Because it used to be six days across the transatlantic from Southampton to New York, New York to Southampton. So she's designed for that. This works out at £87 per person per night. Let's go and through these details for you. Overnight in Haifa, three night, if you want to, a three night hotel stay in Dubai. 
for £149 per person or two nights in Dubai and a five night India tour. How brilliant would that be? And of course, then your return flights are going to take you to London or other airports if you talk to the team. Yeah, that, that is phenomenal. I, I just had to actually check that. Um, £87 per night per person. That doesn't sound like a price it's that you'd associate with QNights. I agree. I absolutely agree. That is probably the, the, the subtle deal of the of the show tonight. ID number on that is one four, write this one down, 142 221. 142 221 and it is deposit only. I've been told some, some of the uh, cabins have sold out on that already as well so get in as soon as you can. There's a free upgrade so you can get from inside to outside. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one now. The, the, don't, don't miss out on this deal. £87 per person. And of course you've got those additional add-ons there if you would like them too. That's the beauty of it. I'm going to try and whiz through these six cruises that we've been through. It's going to be very, very fast. Are you ready? This is when you want to write down these ID numbers. Write down these ID numbers. So we started with our five wonders of the Mediterranean. Yeah, fantastic opportunity to go on to Paul Mantor. Great value on this one and the ports are just amazing. Get on the phone lines right now and book this one. ID number on that is 147130. Then we moved on to the Magellan. Remember, Moira came in and gave us some information on this. Don't miss out on it. Brilliant value for money. 14 nights, and there's a great opportunity there to go and see those northern lights. That's what it's all about. Free parking if you go through Planet Cruise. And, of course, no kids on board. It is adult only. Deposit tonight, just £200. Yeah, then we're on to Morella Cruises with this one. This is a fantastic 14 nights around the Caribbean and South America uh, on board the Morella Discovery to, of course, formerly uh, Thompson. ID number on that one is 161886. And if you want a little time to save up for your cruise, consider the next one. Princess Cruises, you can pre-register tonight with Planet Cruise, one pence per person. That's a 24-hour deal only, one pence per person. That's going to be your deposit, and that is for next year. The cruise is next year, so you've got plenty of time to save up. And what a great opportunity to get around the Med. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal cruise. Yeah, then we're on to the bucket list cruise. This one, we didn't have a chance really to do it justice. That's why you need to phone tonight and find out well, more about it. A five-night China, uh, China stay with tours on board the Quantum of the Seas, ID number 182544. And then, of course, that final one was the Queen Mary 2, the QM2, as she's known, uh, from Southampton to Dubai. Works out at £87 per person per night. That is a must consider. ID number on there, 142221. Don't forget, different website, planetcruise.com, and you can see all the information you wish there. And, of course, you've got the opportunity to write down that phone number. We'll put it back on the screen one more time. It's free to call the team, 0808 250 -2662. And even if you go to the website, you can put the cruise ID number in yep. there, and that'll give you the chance to see all the information on that cruise. Hey, Justin, yep. great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you as well. I know you're travelling a lot the next I'll few weeks. I'll be back next week. Great. I'll be back next week. So have a great time on your travels. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for your company. Really appreciate it. Don't forget Planet Cruise with us regularly on a Tuesday night and you get some of the best deals in the cruising industry really really worthwhile considering go to the website planetcruise.com or call the team right now they're waiting for your call they're going to be there until 10 o'clock this evening see you soon hiya thanks for watching the video now don't forget to like comment and subscribe below remember to click that bell to get all notifications and if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content like this click on the videos to the right hand side it'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.